Are you looking to track a P25 system but don't have two RTL SDRs? Well, stick around because today on Signals Everywhere, I'm going to teach you how to use DSD Plus Fastlane to track a P25 system using just one RTL SDR software defined radio. Don't go anywhere. Shout out to Christopher, he suggested this video, so thank him in the comments below. What we're going to have to do here is open up our DSD Plus Fastlane folder here. If you don't have Fastlane or you haven't used it before, I'll put links in the description to previous videos I've done on setting this up. Then we have another folder here. This is the latest update to DSD Plus, which contains the R1 and R1A BAT files used to uh, track a P25 system using just a single software defined radio, like an AirSpy or an RTL SDR. And so, what we need to do here is copy these files. And technically, you should be backing up your whole DSD Plus Fastlane folder, so you might want to do that beforehand. However, I'm just going to go ahead and paste everything into this folder. And I'm going to tell it to uh, go ahead and do the same for all the conflicts. We're going to do a copy and replace. And that's just going to replace everything in this folder here for me. Now that we've done this, this is essentially up to date and ready to go. So how do we actually set this up with just one RTL SDR? Well, the first thing we need to do is come down to this 1R.bat file. If you're using an AirSpy, you'll use the 1RA file. But in my case, we just need the 1R.bat file because that is for one RTL SDR. If I edit that, you can see what the sample rate is uh, and some of the other settings here. We don't really need to change any of these. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Let's go ahead and close that. We need to first start up uh, FMP24CC. Now this is a file that we set up in a previous video. If we right click on this and go to edit, you'll see that we have this dash F for our frequency. This is our control channel. So in my case, the control channel for the local tower is 855.8625. I'm also going to add a dash B 12.5 because that's 12 and a half kilohertz for my bandwidth. That's going to make sure that we have a nice decode. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my file. And again, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here, check the links in the video below where I go into that. Now that we've done this, we are essentially ready to go to fire this up for a single RTL. We're going to open up FMP24CC. This is going to actually start up our RTL SDR and lock onto our control channel as you see right here. I'm just going to move these over to the side here. And once we've done that, we can now start the 1R.bat file. This is going to make a local TCP connection and it will begin tracking the P25 system. Owners, the operator, and Freeman, I'll take a warning number 704. Uh, All right, so I know what you guys are thinking. Corrosive, how in the world is this possible? I thought you needed two SDRs in order to listen to a trunked P25 system. How in the world are you doing this with just one? Well, that's a good question. If you take a look at this particular window here, you'll see that it is tuning back and forth between the control channel and your voice channel. Traditionally, when we listen to a P25 trunking system using software-defined radio, we use two SDRs. The reason for this is one SDR can sit on our control channel, which tells us where voice, data, and other traffic is on the system. And the other SDR is the one that actually is commanded by the first one to move to those various voice channels so that we can listen to different traffic on the radio system. The new update to DSD Plus Fastlane is really interesting because now it allows us to do this with just a single RTL SDR. And it accomplishes this, like I said, by moving back and forth between the control channel and your voice channel. And while it is convenient, you need to keep in mind that you are more likely to miss traffic or miss calls with this particular solution. The reason for this is because you're not able to sit on that control channel the entire time like you could with a 2SDR setup. With this, you have to move off of that control channel so that you can listen to a voice channel. So when a police talk group comes up, for an example, and you listen to that particular um, piece of traffic, there could be other things going on and you're going to have no idea because you're sitting on the voice channel and you don't have anything listening to your control channel. Now as soon as that voice traffic is over, you'll switch back over to your control channel and your SDR will continue to look for other voice calls on the system and it'll move back and forth. And if you're only listening to four or five talk groups, this might not be a problem for you. It might be exactly what you're looking for. 
But if you're someone like me who likes to record things on the system, maybe you're tracking 20, 30, or more voice channels, you're definitely going to want to have two RTL SDRs or two Air Spies or whatever you may happen to use in order to run this particular setup. I hope you guys found this helpful and informative. If you are not familiar with some of the steps we talked about, take a look in the description below. There are links to previous videos in this series that tell you how to set up DST Plus Fastlane, how to do an update, how to add all of these nice little um, text aliases so you know who's talking and you don't just see um, a channel number, as well as how to set up your priority call so you only hear specific talk groups. Links to all that will be in the description below. And of course, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to all of my patrons because without you guys, this type of content would not be possible. And with that being said, I appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like it so I know you enjoyed it and share it with somebody who might find this information helpful. I hope to see you all in the next one.